I sometimes put rocks inside the blimp if my boom ops being a nightmare. Just make it a bit heavier. You don't, you don't want to make it too easy. Uh, when you're trying to record sound for a film or a TV show or a documentary or anything where you're you're getting sound for picture, you need to be able to get the best possible sound 99% of the time in a compromised environment, right? So your your boom has to be hidden and be on the edge of frame, uh, and uh, or it has to be hidden as a plant mic or whatever. But if we're, if we're discussing specifically about booms, the boom needs to be right on the edge of frame, and you you need to. Uh, pull out as much of that dialogue as you can, as cleanly as you can, and reject the background noise as much as you can. Boom operators are amazing to watch. I mean, it's it's like ballet, essentially. It, it's it's one of the most skilled jobs. You know, it's it's something that I did for a long time, and I don't think I ever mastered. And I'm to see a good boom operator working is is an absolutely beautiful thing. It's a dance, essentially. That microphone is on the edge of that frame the whole time, and they might be keeping out of two or three camera shots and they're avoiding shadows but they all, they're also running the floor and they, ha they have to be a diplomat and they have to be um, a technician and they have to be an artist and they have to be like on top of their physical movement and being able to move around a set and and do it quietly and with grace and poise it's a high risk job I mean yeah you're you know you're swinging microphones around above actors and in situations where you know you're having to your 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 spatial awareness and and three dimensional sort of understanding of a, of a set is hugely important. You get after a long time, you kind of get the shake. You know, you're, you've got the you've got a pole on a, full, a drama pole on a full extension. And when I was booming, I, it would be a, a much heavier microphone than now. I mean, these DPAs don't weigh anything at all. It's like a feather, which is great. Every single gram that you save means that that their attention and their focus is going to be that much sharper and that much kind of more honed at that particular moment maybe you know maybe 30 seconds into the 10th take you know and the director's going oh yeah I just want to shoot one more take can we just keep rolling keep rolling and the boom ops there and they're just kind of like Ugh. 